Good evening. Just uh, putting a couple of pieces of wood in the fire. I had a request from a couple of you to go into a little more detail uh, about my hot water system on the wood stove and to point out how it's actually hooked up. So, um, as I explained the other night in the previous video, that is a 35 gallon copper tank, not sure what it came from, it's just an antique copper tank. And the way it's hooked up, I can pan out here, is there's a coil of copper tubing that just wraps around the top half or so of the stove, it goes right up the chimney, and then goes up to the high fitting on that tank. And the bottom part of it is connected to this fitting coming out of the bottom of the tank, where it goes around the bottom of the stove. So, heat rises, so the hot water does what's called a thermosiphon, it rises up in the pipe and it just fills that tank with hot water. Great. How do you get it off of there? Well, obviously the way this would ordinarily be plumbed in, if it was all by itself, would be there'd be a cold line coming into it and a hot line going out of it. Now that's exactly what's going on here. That back there is the cold line going into the pipe. Above it is a temperature gauge. If you'll come around to this side, maybe you can see it. Yes, there's the temperature gauge. Right now at the bottom of that tank, it is 130 degrees. It's pretty hot. So at the top, it's probably 150, 160. It's hot. So that goes into the bottom, fills, fills the tank with cold water. Right up here, that's the, the hot line. It comes out of the tank. Now, it's not at the top of the tank, as you can see. So I had to get a little bit funky when I did that. And inside this tank is actually... I goes into here and then there's an elbow that goes up all the way to the top of the tank and then over here there's two fittings one inside another I made this coaxial fitting to get it in there so that I could get the water off the very top of the tank where it gets hot first and above it is a temperature and pressure blow-off valve which releases pressure and if the system overheats and starts boiling okay so hot line going out goes to your faucet not in this case in this case the hot line goes through the wall a little piece of insulation on it and we'll go right around the corner here into the laundry room where my ancient water pump and recycled homemade plumbing system the hot line now comes in and feeds directly into my hot water heater which is over here in the corner it's a gas hot water heater so what happens is if the hot water heater is turned on the water coming into it is preheated by the wood stove, so it, it doesn't have to work very hard. Now what I actually did and went one step farther, and the way I hooked this up is I just, this was originally the cold water into the hot water heater, there's the valve to turn it on and off, I just cut it right there. This line goes out to that tank by the stove, this line goes to the water heater. Right here, there's a bypass with a valve. Right now this valve is open. So this water coming from the hot water heat, from the preheating tank, can go right into, this goes to my kitchen, this goes to the bathroom, and ordinarily it would be going into the hot water heater here, but this valve is closed, so it can't get by. So what happens is, I've got a bypass and the hot water heater is turned off. It's burning no propane whatsoever, because in the winter time, like it is right now, I make more than enough heat off of the uh, wood burning. And, you know, the byproduct of that is having a lot of hot water. So, there it is. There's a much more detailed explanation. Just a quick little video to, to clarify some things a couple of people had asked me. If you like this kind of content, there's going to be more of it. This whole system's getting ripped out. The stove, the whole thing is getting installed in my house this spring. Um, once I'm moving out of this trailer and into a house. And it's going to get upgraded, a bigger tank, a better, better setup. The stove's actually getting made bigger. It's all going to be completely different. So hit the subscribe, please. Uh, help me grow this channel so that I can bring you a lot more content. And uh, share it wherever you share on social media. Hit the like button, hit that thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.